Okay, Akomodo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update and I'm back with a webcam and this is gonna be fun. Eh? So here we have our one hour chart, Bitch Temp. Yes, we are kind of uh, trying to reach uh, higher prices here. I have been calling this movement for a long time, remember since December. This is our weekly chart. This is a a, B, C. This is clear for me a corrective movement. Uh, but I'm going to make the case that we might just have the bottom here. Just in case that uh, if you guys are really bullish and I don't know if you guys want to try to uh, enter a long position with confidence. I'm going to I'm going to say you guys this. Uh, I would only me personally, I would only enter a long position here with confidence. I'm uh, a long position meaning an investment for the long term. I would enter only if we break this line here. Okay? If we break the 6000 to the upside. Why? Because remember guys, this strong resistance here, okay, that we have here. Is a strong the strong resistance is where we try it for once, twice three times, four times, we stayed since uh, June last year, we, we stayed within this range here for a lot of time. So this is a really strong resistance. Now, it was a really strong support, we broke it, so it's now a strong resistance. If we break to the upside, so then of course I'm gonna be uh, playing uh, like this, I'm gonna be willing to like get you at least 20k okay at least uh, I'm not talking about it now but of course it's gonna it would take time to get to 20k it would take time to go for another bull run it's not like it's it, it doesn't happen um, like really fast it, it takes time to happen so but um, for now for the moment what I see here is an a B this is a falling wedge for our C here of within this B and then we are going up for this C we have our Ford wave and then we would go down again okay okay so originally it's it's impossible I wouldn't say impossible but you would need to just to, we would need just to jump and get to the this medium line here so I'm using shift it seems to be contained the whole motion the whole movement here then we would have an A I, I have I had to change this to an A. I was calling this a W, but then it's really difficult to call this a W. This is a motive the motive wave, okay? One, two, three, four, five. It's a clear motive wave. Then we have a A B C clear A B C. Then we would have now a one, two, three, four, five. Then this is my target, guys. Remember, I'm calling this 4400, okay? 100% extension. What is this 100% extension? Okay, this is 100% extension. Let me remove it. Is from is the A project through B? Okay. Oh, let me turn this off now. A here. Okay, project through A. The length of A project through B. Then we have the 100% here, 137%. I think that we might get to this resistance here, 4700. Okay. And this is another resistance here. The wave C here would be 100%. This is the 50% for our wave 4. This wave 4 here, guys, okay? This fi That 50% is the same 50% that we have here. See, guys, the extension. This is the 50%. This support region here, 4,400 or so. Okay, this is the 50%, which I'm calling this a wave 3. So this is the wave 4. We are retracing. This is a corrective motion this is a corrective structure this is the 50 percent 100 percent we have a confluence here and i'm calling this a resistance we would get here the fourth wave and the c wave here okay if we get there okay i, I think that of course i'm going to be shorting it and look at the daily chart guys i i, I don't I, I can't help but be a short here because we are getting to a really high rsi Okay, we are getting to 70. Okay, here now, and remember, it only gets to really higher, uh, really such a high RSI when it's gonna just drop. See here, 
of course we had a really nice dump here then it got to the uh, I'm, I'm lost here the numbers but it's it might be like 10 here but if we get to this really high error size it would be a different story okay but for the moment I am sticking with the my with my bias which is bear I'm a bearish I have a bear bias here a bearish bias I'm sorry uh, we are now uh, 421 days this is we are getting to the end of February and 40% of the length of our previous impulse wave we are spending in this retracement uh, I, I made the case in a previous video that we might have a bull week here, but I think that this is not on the table any longer because we are kind of having volume here on the daily chart and not like this one, okay? I was calling you guys that we might have something like this and then another drop, but this seems not to be the case. I think that we, we are going to see something in one week perhaps one month we don't know okay but we see that it's drop whenever it's dropping for a long time in price in in, uh, in volume here when then we see a surge in volume here and then it's uh, the same story all over again i think that we're gonna get to those levels levels here but don't guys don't assume that's a bullish mar a bull market okay it's better to be a bear in a bull market and just just get a little bit less of profit because of course it's gonna need it's need to retrace if it gets to 6k or whatever if it just uh, uh, get high enough here and breaks this this line as I said then it needs to retrace when it retraces it's when I'm gonna enter the long okay it's really simple okay this, this is all for BTC, in my opinion. Now, we, we need confirmation, okay? If this is indeed a, 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 a motive impulse wave of a higher degree, if we, are, if we are calling this a one, two, three, four, five, and this is not a corrective structure, which I am calling a corrective structure because I, the way that it looks is a corrective structure. But in order to convince me, to convince me that this is a bullish count or a one, two, three, four, five, we need a different data than we have now. Okay, we need more. Uh, we would need a surge in price. We need to break all those resistance, those previous support and now resistance. Okay, uh, but of course I'm open to different counts, to different bias. As I'm proposing here, it's clear for me a corrective movement, but who knows, right? Uh, just let just take a look at the LTC because LTC is um, if we do the same thing this, this is the lowest point here this is the highest point here and this is the lowest if we just use the original what we see here is that LTC actually made here the corner okay and then get and then it got to the median line here almost touched it here I'm starting to ladder some, uh, some shorts around here because this is the 127, 20% here, okay? And this is the 50% of this whole movement here, okay? 50% from here, pardon me. This is, uh, it was not updated. This is the right, 50% would be here. So even if we just I think that we have a small leg before we go down here to this 50%, okay? Or perhaps to this 38%, then we wouldn't break this pitchfork, okay? We want to make the case that we won't break the pitchfork, so then this is the buy zone here, okay? 38, 20%, okay? If you start laddering buys, or if you are taking your profits because you shorted it here. I'm gonna short. I, I'm still not convinced that this is a bullish uh, a trend reversal, not in the least, okay? This is not a trend reversal. This, this, this doesn't look like one. This is a corrective movement in my opinion, but I might be wrong, okay? As always, we are always wrong and I'm happy to be so. So, um, it's a little bit different. I, I would call LTC a bit 
I, I would call LTC uh, more prone to a bullish momentum than Bitcoin, just because of this uh, kind of a, uh, because it's it the, this pitchfork has is containing this whole movement here. So who knows if this just keep going up? I would be really surprised because we have a bearish divergence on the daily chart. Uh, pardon me for this mess. You see, this is a just let me just uh i'm sorry for the mess but you see here was the highest point the all-time high for ltc see how high it got in the rsi this is where we are getting now okay it's really difficult to keep a high rsi a relative st strength for a long time it, because it we have cycles okay but of course, we might get to the 50% here. If we are in a bearish, I'm sorry, if we are in a bullish market now, let's imagine this. We would touch the 50% here, okay? And then we would go up again. But we need a retracement, okay? That's what I'm, that's why I'm gonna short because I am assuming that we are in a bearish market because of the data that we have. And I don't want to enter along and get a, uh, and, and 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 be against the tide against the the trend okay i think that's enough thanks uh, for watching guys as always it's a pleasure to have you guys here uh, if you like it give me a thumbs up and subscribe and if you haven't followed me on social media you have my twitter handle acomodo crypto and uh, if you haven't joined us in our discord group there you have it the the link in the description is the crypto trader educational institute guys thank you very much and i see you guys next one cheers bye bye